Yo, what's going on everyone? Fans and friends of Dalton D3T or friends of Wirewolves and uh, Just Ordinary, but <clears throat> check it out guys. This clan, we did 40 to 24 triples. This was a 50 versus 50 clan war. And this is exactly the clan <clears throat> that beats um, Cold as Ice when we had that 30 win streak over there. So I'm not sure what happened between this and that because uh, they definitely got, definitely got smacked here. 40 triples in a 50-man war. Needless to say, Wirewolves roster right now is just OP, man. There's no no other ways around it but saying, like, these guys are, are ready for business. And, uh, I mean, yeah, just check this out. This is number 43 against their number one. I'm going to screw up all the names on the uh, defending side, but Doctor is going in here and <clears throat> is just <clears throat> starting it off with the Queen Charge Hog. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. My voice was already already flubbing up. Um, I mean, yeah, basically demolish this base with the Queen Charge into the Town Hall Giga Tesla area and then hog the rest. Now, I am going to be showing the majority of these replays here, so we're going to be going at four times on almost all of the bases, okay? Um, or at least I'm going to try to. And so, yeah, next up we have ITD Alatar, and he is going to be doing <clears throat> the Sui the King to get the funnel down, and then a wizard to make sure that that king is going down to the left. That king is going to take out the defending Barbarian King, and then sends in a couple wall breakers to Sui on that Giga Tesla Town Hall, and is also going to get rid of the enemy CC and the defending Archer Queen. So now he's going to, once that is all set, he's going to start the Lalo, um, <clears throat> and then Lalo is going to. Drop a Coco Loon for that Stone Slammer. Stone Slammer is going to make it to that Wizard Tower. And then the Stone Slammer is just going to take out a few defenses here and there. Finds a Tesla Farm. Um, and then is just going to mass Lalo the rest of this base. Warden's ability pretty early to make sure those Loons are going to stay alive during that Eagle Artillery drop. And, I mean, the Loons just annihilated right down the core. That Stone Slammer opened up on that backhand, or, and, or that Baby Dragon went on on the backhand to start fat, uh, making clean up fast and then plenty of minions and lava pups to secure the rest um, next up we have benji and benji is going to be starting off with the sui kill squad to that giga tesla and then mass hog okay so this uh king barbarian king was able to take out a ton of traps and a ton of that of those defenses from there the queen and the pekka are just going to take out some more he's going to mass hog and from that 12 o'clock range down to the 3 o'clock range, and he's just going to push through again. This is going to be at four times speed, so you guys basically know. Um, I mean, you guys can watch and, and figure out the gaps that I miss. I just want to make sure I get as many replays as I can in here. But <clears throat> two swag heals on that raid. How cool is that? Now we got Benji again, and Benji this time is going to be doing an E-Clone Lalo. Sui and the Heroes over here at the... Uh, 7 o'clock, 7.30 about, and gets that queen in there with the, with the E-clone and the Eagle Artillery and that um, multi-target Inferno. From there, he's got a great L-shaped pathway. The Lalo is going to go straight over that Giga Tesla Town Hall and then finish over in that 3 o'clock area. And of course, he's got minions on the cleanup in the back. Uh, and then the loons are going to take off the rest of the cleanup at the front side. And, I mean, just like that, made it look super easy. So Benji doing another beautiful hit there. That was a great six-pack by Benji. There were a lot of insane attacks, guys. I mean, when you have 40 triples in a 50 versus 50 war, it's insane. So in this case, uh, it's Daniel. And notice how he sent in that one hog raider to... Pull the enemy CC. Once he's got the enemy CC out, he's going to get rid of it um, right off the bat. So you don't have to worry about the enemy CC at all here. Um, then he's going to do a wall breaker entry into that multi-target inferno compartment, which is going to get the defending archer queen. And then also, I mean, a couple expos, those skeleton traps, etc. <clears throat> then he's going to set the stone slammer in with the loons to go over the Giga Tesla, Warden's ability over the Giga Tesla. That queen is still up, freezes that eagle artillery a couple times, rages over that with the loons, and then the rest is clean up. So another beautiful queen charge, Lalo there. Last thing to go down is going to be that dark elixir collector. So, <clears throat> man, we've got a lot of... A lot of replays to go. I think this episode is going to be about 30 minutes long. So, uh, you know, we're going to grind through it. Next up, we got Grim, 
And I remember actually I tried attacking this base, but I got a time fail on it, I think. And Grim is going to be starting it off with the Sui um, King over there. He's going to freeze that wall breaker entry that Queen is going to go through. Notice he's not bringing any healers with this he doesn't need any healers because all he needs to get he got that eagle artillery a multi-target inferno and the defending archer queen with a single queen and a wall breaker entry i mean how op is that guys that is phenomenal to see that kind of uh value there and then a very good lalo going through again baby dragon goblins minions and lava pups on that cleanup i mean that goes down as one of the best use of a Sui uh, queen I've seen. <clears throat> so next up we got Irv, IRV, and he is going to be doing a Sui Hero Lalo. Um, you know, if you guys can tell, this is a very popular attack, especially at this high of a level. Um, you're seeing a lot of ITD players using this attack. You're seeing a lot of, um, I mean, just ordinary, Cold as Ice, ROW. I mean, basically, you, na you name a high-level clan up there, and they're using this Sui Lalo attack. And this is a prime example, of course. The only um, defenses remaining was that Wizard Tower and the... Uh, Grand Warden, defending Grand Warden, and I mean, you know, just a beautiful hit again. Um, yeah, next up we got Danny, and Danny, this is the admin of 3 Star Chat with us, with Avicon and I, and Lid, and Rock, and a few others as well. Um, basically starting off, Danny is going to be funneling this Queen into the Queen Charge, that Wall Wrecker gets huge value, it's got a really good kill squad in there actually. Um, and this is just going to be a, a straight peck of bowler attack. He's got those bowlers just taking out two layers of defense, or she, sorry, she's got two layers of defenses going down with those bowlers each time. Um, plenty of overkill because this queen, <clears throat> the king, warden, Pekka, and still had that rage spell to push into that last multi target inferno compartment. And that warden really does a lot of the heavy, heavy deal in there. So awesome attack by Danny. And next up is myself, and of course, you're going to be seeing a pretty sick um, attack here. And, you know, again, I'm going to be doing a Sui Hero Lalo, and this is going to be, I mean, pretty pretty fun to watch. I was able to Sui, or get that Town Hall down, and then I started that Stone Slammer in, <clears throat> and then basically sent the loons in. All the way across, my first set of loons dropped, which actually kind of scared me a bit. Used that Warden's ability early, of course, to keep them up as long as I could. That healing spell in that last compartment is really what did it good. Sent in a back in loon to make sure that uh, that Wizard Tower was going to get distracted. And again, plenty of um, troops remaining for the triple, so felt good about that one. Next up is Walrus P.I., and he's going to be doing an E-Clone Funnel. Check out the value with all the uh, E-Dragon Chain there. Unfortunately, there was a Seeking Air Mine that was able to take it out. <clears throat> Next up is the main pack of P.E.K.K.A. Bowlers. This is going to be a P.E.K.K.A. Bobat. And, you know, typical P.E.K.K.A. Bobat, like how you, you love to see uh, basically that... Kill Squad just gets into the core there, and then these bats really do all the damage. I mean, these bats pushed around so much. They're able to take out that last expo. If uh, if those bats weren't able to take out that expo there, I don't think this was going to be a three. But, I mean, they took out all the point defenses from basically that 9 o'clock down to the uh, 5 o'clock. And then that uh, P.E.K.K.A. is going to tank for that queen, while that queen is going to finish up on the rest of the... Um, on the rest of the buildings there. Next up <clears throat> is gonna be Alex. And Alex is gonna be doing, you guys guessed it, a Sui Lalo. It's such an overpowered attack, guys, get with it. Um, I do know that this replay is getting posted a little late. I was actually in Slovenia on a military tournament. I'll get into that uh, at a different episode, but we are uploading it now. It's just a little delayed, so I apologize to the Wirewolves, guys. Um, but, you know, sometimes real life gets in the way. And before you know it, Alex is going to be triple in this base with so many, probably 30 loons left alive. I mean, Sui Lalo again, guys. Sui Lalo is just overpowered like a mother, man. Next up, we got Jam This. And this is kind of a cool base. Um, I actually did attack this one as well, but I couldn't get my kill squad all the way down to the defending Archer Queen. He's going to start it off with a... Um, this is going to be an E-Drag attack, okay? So... 
you know, that's that's all it is is an e drag attack now he is gonna get make sure that the queen is gonna funnel and that king is gonna funnel so that those e drags and the loons can go into the core there now <clears throat> they do start spreading out a little bit he uses an e or a um a clone spell in the core there which is actually pretty cool and then these drags i mean just chain value the rest of this that uh, last air defense goes down through the chain value. That wizard tower gets frozen. And before you know it, there are just too many E-drags. And I mean, you know, whenever you got bases that are just stacked, um, where the buildings are just stacked on each other, I mean, you know, that's just an E-drag target. Um, in this case, we got an E-clone Lalo. And he is going to be starting, or this is Death Star. So he's going to be starting off with a good Sui portion right here to get rid of all these trash structures. Um, and then is going to have that stone slammer, which is going to start making its way in there for the E-clone. Um, excuse me real quick while I get a drink of water. <sighs> Nothing like water. Um, yeah, so then that one E-drag actually gets caught um, around the outside, which is not good. But the rest of this E-clone is just overpowered and... Uh, Unfortunately, isn't able to get rid of that Eagle Artillery, but is able to take out many, many defenses in the core there. Um, <clears throat> actually activated that Giga Tesla, which means he's going to have to get those loons in there quick and in a hurry to make sure they're going to stay alive. Use that Warden's ability over the Giga Tesla. That Eagle Artillery finally goes down. And then haste spell into that last multi-target Inferno compartment, getting that air defense and that cannon as the last defense to go down. And then making their minions in the... Lava pups and everything else making its way down to get that triple on the cleanup. And yeah, next up, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this guy's name, obviously, but <laughs> um, yeah, basically, he's going to be doing an E clone Lalo and Sui and the heroes to get rid of that air defense and then a couple other point defenses. Send that Coco Loon in there with the Stone Slammer. Going to E clone right over that. Um, Eagle Artillery, and then, I mean, look at this, 39% before he sends in the Lalo portion of this attack, uses the Warden's ability over the Giga Tesla, hastes into that multi-target Inferno compartment, freezes those backhand Whistler Towers and the point defenses down there, and those loons do a magical job at spreading out to make sure that they're going to get the uh, the triple there. I mean, those I mean, whenever you have those loons just spread out like that, or hogs on the backhand side, you know, it's just great because you know it's not going to be a time fail. Now, next up, we got Casper JR, and check out the use of this um, Raged E-Drag Funnel here. It is quite expensive, but, you know, it takes the right space to do it. So, sent in from the backhand side that Raged E-Drag Funnel, um, and this is just going to be a straight Pekka Bowler um, attack. And, I mean, yeah, as simple as that, you know, the E-Drags the e got the funnel down, and then the Kill Squad was able to make its way <clears throat> all the way around. Notice he has seven hogs left alive, okay? So those seven hogs are gonna be for that multi-target Inferno because it's left in the core there. So this plan was definitely thought out very well. Um, I mean, literally down to the last troop there. So those last hogs were able to take that multi-target Inferno down because if not, it was gonna be obviously a fail. So next up we got Dingo. Dingo's gonna be starting off with a um, couple loon drop just to get that funnel started and that wizard to get rid of that air defense. Gonna wall break into that multi-target inferno compartment, raged up that queen, and then, I mean, check out these uh, wall breakers just making their way into the core, guys. Um, absolutely insane. That's a triple wall break entry there. And that triple wall breaker entry is gonna get access to one multi-target inferno, Giga Tesla, defending Archer Queen, enemy CC, Eagle Artillery, and all the other point de defenses in the, in the middle. Now, look at how much overpowered it is on this. Oh, my God. I mean, what the heck, Dingo? Pass over those Clash of Clans steroids, man. I need some of that. That was incredible. Um, yeah, wow. Next up is Steven, and Steven's going to be doing a Queen Charge Lalo. <clears throat> Starting it off with a couple Loon Drop to start the funnel in that Archer Tower. From there, this Queen is going to go... Um, counterclockwise to uh you know meet up with that king that king's gonna help funnel as well sends in a couple wall breakers to get in there it's gonna be just a single wall breaker entry it was supposed to make it through another but you know it ha stuff happens you know this is uh 
Clash of Clans, not everything goes according to plan. Um, <clears throat> that king is just getting a ton of value there on the outside, and then this queen is just charging straight through the core. Gonna get that eagle artillery down <clears throat> and the defending archer queen down. And is still just going to pop through and, and take out those defenses like crazy. She's going to stay up until almost, or to the end of this right here. The Loon and the Stone Slammer are just going to take out all the other defenses. The Giga Tesla Warden ability, obviously, over the Giga Tesla. And, I mean, bada bing, bada boom. There's another incredible triple here by Wirewolves. I mean, what is going on, man? What is going on? Next up, we have Warman. And Warman is going to be doing a Sui Hero. Um, Lalo with two skeleton spells, so check this one out. Uh, gets the Sui in there, gets the uh, Giga Tesla down, and actually takes out that last air defense and that wizard tower, which is going to create an excellent funnel for these loons when they go over the core there. Um, you know, everything that we say in a, in a Sui Lalo or a Queen Charge Lalo uses a skeleton spell for that defending archer queen. Since uh, sets in the cleanup um, troops, and then this is going to be a three spell swag, guys. One heal, one freeze, one poison. What the heck, man? OP, 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 OP. Just, I mean, put that on repeat, man. Uh, next up, we have the China name that I do not know. Attacking the China name that I do not know. And going to be setting off with a good little queen charge here with the wall breaker entry. Uses all the wall breakers to get into that uh, compartment there, which is actually really good because from there he is able to get rid of that eagle artillery and then jump spell into the core there. Raging that queen extremely well because uh, she needed to use that queen to d take out the defending archer queen. And then is going to straight up just lalo, you know, lo everything that we like to say in lalo, guys, this is just repetition at this point. I mean... These guys are just so incredible. Um, you know, if Warden's ability over the Giga Tesla, proper loon pathing, sending loons on the outside defenses to make sure that the main group of loons stay inside of the core. I mean, you know, Lalo 101 tips, um, you know, just on blast from these replays. Now, here we go. This is another one from just E3T. Yes, that account is very familiar, huh? Um, basically, it's a queen charge and queen charging into that um, Giga Tesla area. Take out the enemy CC pretty quickly. Uh, wall breaks into the core there, and then from there, I'm actually even going to... Um, I mean, this queen is still staying up. Unfortunately, those healers are dropping. That queen is just hanging on, raging, raging up, and gets into another wall breaker. Or another wall sets one, two, three, uh, triple wall breaker entry, and then sends in the stone slammer on that one um, area to the nine o'clock, and then Lalo around the rest of the base. I mean, typical, typical queen charge Lalo, you guys, except for this time it was straight to that Giga Tesla with the, um, with the troop booster up a level power potion. Now we have Squashy JJ from Wirewolves, and this is going to be <clears throat> a, well, it's going to be a Sui hero, and notice where the Sui is going. The Sui is going to take out that defending archer queen and that multi-target inferno with just the king, and then that queen is going to take out the other troops, or the other buildings as it goes around. Uses that stone slammer to get into that Eagle Artillery Warden's ability over the Giga Tesla with the main pack of loons. Proper haste spells and uh, loon deployment around the outside because there were defenses on the outside. So you need to keep those loons into the core there. You know, it's got great cleanup. Saves a couple loons for that cleanup, you know, because it could, be, you know, a lot of these cases could be a time fail. So if you save one or two loons just for a couple buildings on the backhand side, it's going to be great. And that's going to be a poison and a haste swag. Um, next up is Igor. Now, for those of you who, uh, you guys definitely should know Igor if you're in triple or three star or triple chat or basically all of those, uh, triple chat rooms. And he's going to be doing a Sui Hero Lalo. And again, Sui and that king and queen to get that Giga Tesla. And then it's just going to mass Lalo basically from the 12 o'clock to the 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock. I mean, sends loons in everywhere, guys, and has plenty of loons left alive. They split up on the end to get the, um, make sure it's not going to be a time fail. And that queen actually stays up all the way to the end of this raid. How cool is that? On a Sui Hero Lalo, the queen stayed up to the end of the raid. That is phenomenal. <laughs> Next up, we got Squashy JJ again. Now, this base, um, it's funny. I actually 
thinking I might have this base uh, built, but I just haven't used it yet. Um, yeah, in this case, is going to be doing a Sui Hero, Lalo, and basically Sui's from the 11 o'clock all the way down to the 4, I mean 5, I mean 6 o'clock. <laughs> Literally, Lalo's just the entire portion. Presets those uh, hay spells to make sure that those loons get proper treatment around um, and, and spread to get those uh, defenses and proper pathing, and then that's going to be one freeze, one haste swag. I mean, so many swag spells here, guys. This is a 40 triple war. That's just phenomenal to think about. Um, we have War Man here again, and guess what, guys? You'll never guess what attack is going to be used. It's going to be a Sui Lalo. How cool is that, guys? Um, and basically, that king is going to be Sui'd into that uh, multi-target Inferno area because that's going to get rid of the... Multi-target Inferno and that Defending Archer Queen. Um, and then it's just going to mass um, Lalo from the 6.30 all the way to the 2 o'clock. Um, Warden's ability over that Giga Tesla. Stone Slammer is still up all the way to the end of this raid, which is just overpowered, guys. You know what we say when we have, whenever we see raids like that. That's just, I mean, it's such an overkill attack. You know, I can't stress enough how many incredible attacks were on this... Uh, on this war next up we got lid who is also a, a admin of the uh, triple chat that we like to um shout out every once in a while and in this case it's going to be a sui hero um e-clone lalo so the sui portion comes up the e-clone portion comes up to get that eagle artillery um enemy cc and the defending archer queen and then is just gonna um lalo all the way over from the 12 o'clock down to that Giga Tesla, proper hay spells, and I mean that E-Clone got easily 50% um, and then with plenty of swag uh, spells again, guys. I mean, so many swag spells in this war. This is incredible. Just good job, Wirewolves, man. This is great. Now we have a Doctor and you know this is another incredible attack here going to be starting off with the grand warden um sniping off a lot of these different buildings here um once that grand warden has taken out quite a few he's going to line it up with the kill squad that is going to get jumped into the course this is going to be a kill squad hog attack with healers the hogs are going to start at the three o'clock go all the way around with great healing spells over those multi-target infernos that queen is going to stay up all the way to the backhand side of this raid which is going to help those hogs out those hogs are definitely getting taken out pretty quick here at the end here with those skeleton traps and then those point defenses but in the end there are too many hogs and perfect cleanup with those wizards to make sure that it's going to be a triple so another triple by doctor i'm pretty sure he had a six pack as well here next up we got steven and Steven's going to be doing a Queen Charge Lalo. The Queen Charge is going to get started at the exact 3 o'clock. Going to get rid of a ton of different traps. And, uh, I mean, just a lot of different traps, honestly. Going to wall break into that multi-target Inferno area. And then set that wall record just a tad bit late. Um, because that's going to set the tone for the next part of this raid about getting in there deeper. So he's going to wall break through first and then set the wall record after. Um... Then from there, the loons are going to go straight over that Giga Tesla, deployed at 3 o'clock, going uh, counterclockwise. Plenty of loons, as you see. He set loons up around those outside defenses to make sure the main pack was staying inside the core. And that queen is going to stay up all the way until the end. Now we are, whew, we're getting there, guys. Only a couple of raids left. Next up, we got Tuan Pak. And Tuan Pak is going to be doing a Pekka Bow Bat, starting off with an E-Drag Funnel, <clears throat> getting good chain value there, gets about, you know, probably 7% with that uh, chain value there, and then sends in the Pekka Bow Bat, the main kill squad, straight over that Giga Tesla Town Hall, jumps into the core there. That jump into the core is going to get rid of, you know, that another multi-target Inferno, another, um, or two multi-target Infernos, and then the bats are just going to go over Get rid of the rest of the point defenses and that multi-target and wizard tower combo in that 9 o'clock compartment, which is just right on point. I mean, so overkill with the troops here. Bats, Ice Golem, King, Queen, Warden, Pekkas. I mean, you name it, it was there. Um, basically didn't have much taken out. Uh, now we have Gunnish Skills. And 
He's gonna be doing a Sui Hero Lalo, you know. I feel like I've said that combo at least 10, 15, 20 times now. Uh, gets rid of that Giga Tesla, sends in the Lalo from the six o'clock to the, I mean, 12 o'clock, literally half of the map. Um, plenty of plenty of troops to finish this raid. I mean, you know, whenever you're doing a Sui, Sui Lalo, the best thing to uh, make sure that you do and best thing to look out for is your spell placement because as long as you have spell placement, you know, and you can get that Giga Tesla, then you should triple it just because you're getting so much value with the Sui, so. Yeah, now we got the almighty Avicon here, and uh, Avicon is going to be doing a queen charge, well no, not a queen charge, I'm sorry, it's going to be a, um, <clears throat> a a queen charge without any healers, uh, but Sui Hero, and basically that queen is going to get a ton of value getting that corner out, and is, which is actually going to make the perfect pathing for the Lalo here. Now, Notice that there was a lot of expos on just ground there, and he, that is perfect for a Sui because that's going to take, I mean, keep all those loons left alive. So, you know, the, a, a beautiful Sui Lalo here, but the Sui was just to take out some key defenses and pathing. So, check that out, guys. We're going to do um, just a couple more because we're almost done here. This is Spices, and he is going to be doing a, you never guessed it, <clears throat> a Sui Lalo. Now, the Sui portion is just going to get rid of that multi-target Inferno and create the pathway for the rest of this Sui. Now, in this example, he is bringing a dragon with four loons over the core there to get rid of that defending Archer Queen. Warden's ability over that Giga Tesla. Notice he had to use that Earthquake spell to activate it just because it wasn't at 50% uh, yet. Perfect freeze into that backside multi-target Inferno compartment and then the... Uh, Skeleton skeletons went to help on cleanup. Plenty of cleanup as well. I mean, that was just a very overall good raid. Lots of different uh, troops and techniques that fell in with that. So spices on a beautiful hit. Whew! Only a couple more now. Mini Savage. This is Avicon, and he is going to be doing a queen charge, but it's a Sui queen charge. Um, uh, Lalo and you know he got a ton of uh value there with the with that Sui basically took out the entire um Tesla farm and all those traps along with it with that Barbarian King and then the only thing that really uh messed this raid up was not taking that queen out but that but he even has a swag heal to finish this raid off so that queen really didn't matter because there's plenty of lava pups and minions to hold it up now but uh, um, now we have Predator going up, and Predator is going to be doing a Sui Hero Mass Hog Attack K. Now the Sui Hero is going to be over in the Town Hall area, going to be proper funneling by the King and some Wizards. Um, sends in an Ice Golem to start it off. Wall breaks into that core there. Uh, gets rid of the um, Giga Tesla with that Queen. And then from there is going to send in the Stone Slammer over that cannon. Um, there are two Seeking Air Mines, which are kind of a bummer there. Sends in all of the hogs down into the core. The hogs split up a little bit into the core, which is great. Uh, sends in the Skeleton Spell over that Queen Warden's ability with that Skeleton Spell and those hogs to keep those hogs alive and that Skeleton Spell alive so that the Queen is distracted. And then the Skeleton Spell usually, or then they move out to start on the cleanup. And that Queen is still alive into the core there, which is great. Um, next, I mean, plenty of cleanup around the outside. That's exactly what you wanted to do. And uh, yeah, so now next up is Venom here. Venom is going to be doing the same thing, a Sui Hero, Lalo. I mean, golly, said that combo so many times uh, this war. And so you guys need to take notes. That is obviously an overpowered strat. Lalo's basically from the 12 o'clock all the way down to the 6 o'clock. This is insane. The spread that you can do on the Lalo is just freaking phenomenal, man. Um, you know, use that Warden's ability uh, with those Skeleton Spells. And that Multi-Target Inferno almost uh, defended this raid here. But there are two Baby Dragons left alive, which are going to take out that last uh, Expo. And then the remaining Minions and Lava Pups are going to finish that Clan Castle for the triple Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, we have ITD Alatar. And again, it's going to be a, or this one's going to be a Queen Charge Hog. And that Queen Charge is going to 
get that Giga Tesla defending Archer Queen enemy CC. So great funneling here, guys. Check out the funneling by that king and then just a wizard there. Uh, you know, she you really want to get this queen into the core. Uses that king's ability to get rid of those traps and a um, couple other structures. Uh, Going to be great use of the queen's ability there, taking out the defending Archer Queen. That queen gets taken out. But that poison spell is able to take out um, that loon so that these hogs are going to be left alive. Those healers then transfer to the hogs and the warden. Again, pr great healing spells, great healing placement on those hogs. And then before you know it, these hogs are going to be starting to clean up. And there are like five wizards on the backhand side, which are going to make cleanup even faster. And then the clan castle is the last thing to go down. So another outstanding triple there. Whew, now we have Mini Savage here on a Sui Lalo, guys. I'm going to stop saying Sui Lalo because my voice is getting hoarse just saying that one. Um, I mean, yeah, this base actually we've seen quite a bit. And um, going to take out the uh, almost all the enemy CC there, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the rest of the Lalo is going to start at the 6 o'clock to the 9 o'clock. And then a few loons on the backhand side to make sure those loons are pathed into the core properly. Great free spell on that last multi-target Inferno and air defense stop. Plenty of uh, cleanup troops and skeletons working on the cleanup. And, I mean, before you know it, there's another triple, another triple A. R-O-W-M-D-M-A, putting up a triple here. This is going to be a Sui Hero Lalo with um, skeleton spells. Notice the Sui portion here is going to get into that Eagle Artillery. And then, I mean, that Ice Golem really succeeded here. Uh, use that Queen's ability, gets rid of that Eagle Artillery, Grand Warden, and then two Teslas. Uh, Grand Warden over the Giga Tesla. Great freeze over that multi-target Inferno Tower and that Wizard Tower. And then, you know, a couple loons get caught up in that uh, Tornado Trap. But there are just too many loons and way good spread out uh, cleanup troops there. I mean, that is an ideal raid. Now we got Venom going in. Holy cow. So many triples, guys. Um, check out how cool this was. There was a hole next to the Giga Tesla Town Hall there. So might as well just Sui the Queen, make sure that gets taken out before any other defenses target that. And then, uh, you know, bada bing, bada boom, going to mass Lalo the rest of this base. Send in loons in from the, seven, or the 9, 30, 10 o'clock range all the way down to the 6 o'clock range. I mean, one of the most widespread loons we've seen yet. Uh, actually uses the skeleton traps as a cleanup spell instead of for the queen in the core there so how cool is that how cool is that oh man next up we got gunnish we got two more raids guys two more raids stick with me guys two more raids all right gunnish skill is going to start this off with a um a uh, couple a uh, couple loons to get that funnel started and then that giga tesla was actually in range of that queen and then it's going to uh la low from the 12 o'clock all the way down to the four o'clock great placement on that hay spell into that multi-target inferno statue or multi-target inferno defense man guys it's getting a, it's going to be a lot of replace here skeleton spells and the cleanup two swag freeze spells and then Last up, we got Dingo on this Town Hall 12. Dingo is going to be doing a Queen Charge Lalo with 10 Wall Breakers. First Wall Breakers break open one layer, and then here comes the second layer, and then here comes the third layer, and then here comes a fourth layer. So almost, where well, let's see, one, two, three, four layer Wall Breaker entry there, which is going to get into that Eagle Artillery Um and then from there, Stone Slammer and then Lalo straight from the 8 o'clock over that Giga Tesla to the 12 o'clock. Sends in a couple loons to keep them, the main pack funneled into the core. And then with that, guys, that is going to be a 40 triple recap against the Clan that beat ROW defeating their win streak. They got 46 out of 50 triples against that war. And this war, they only put 24. So something fishy about that, huh? Wirewolves, overpowered, incredible, incredible.